Okay, so example one, solve the following inequality and show your solution on the number line. Here we have 2x minus 8 is greater than or equal to minus 4. And for the purposes of solving, we want to try and find an answer for our variable. We want to try and find an answer for our x. So the tip I would say is try and treat the inequality like an equals. Okay, so if this was the case and this was an equals, we would always try and find out what x is by balancing the equation. So I'm first of all going to balance by trying to get um, my minus 8, get rid of that and break this side down just to have the x on it. So in order to get rid of the minus 8, I balance it by placing a plus 8 on both sides. And my minus 8 and my plus 8 cancel. And my new line is 2x is greater than minus 4 plus 8 is just plus 4. Okay, I now want to find out what just x is. I have 2x on this side, and in order to balance that out, I'm going to divide it by 2. But what I do to one side, I have to do to the other, because it's all about balancing here. And so the two 2's cancel, 2 goes into 2 once, and I'm told that x is greater than 4 divided by 2, which is 2. So if that's the case now, I can draw that on my number line. So your number lines need to be nice and clear, measured correctly, okay? So the examiner knows exactly that you understand what we're talking about. Um, before we draw the number line, we have to have a look at this section here. X is an element of N. And N is a natural number. And the two properties of natural numbers is that they are positive and they are whole. Okay, so in my answer here, I am told x is greater than 2. So if it's a member of the natural numbers, the first value it can be, if it's greater than 2, is 3. So on my number line, I'm going to mark in 0, minus 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the first value it can be is 3. So I'm going to place a dot on 3. It can also be 4. 4 also satisfies this. 4 is greater than 2. It can be 5 and so on. So I will show this then by drawing an arrow in this direction to show that any number after that satisfies that inequality. Okay, example number 2 is just a little bit more work. It requires me to use multiplication. So I'm working out my brackets. Solve the following inequality, so find an answer for your unknown, which is x in this case, and draw it on the number line. So here we've got x as an element of or, and or is your real numbers, which it requires all numbers. Okay, so we're going to start by, first of all, working out the brackets here. So 6 multiplied by x is going to give me 6x. 6 multiplied by plus 3 is going to give me plus 18 which is less than 5 multiplied by x, which is 5x, and then 5 multiplied by 3, which is going to give me plus 15. Again, I'm looking to try and solve x, and to do that I want x is less than or equal to, or x is less than something. So what I'm going to do at this point here is I'm going to get rid of this plus 18. In order to balance it, I need a minus 18, but I need that on both sides. And so my next line is 6x is less than 5x, and minus, 15, sorry, minus 18 plus 15 is minus 3. Now again, on this side here, I have a 5x. I need to try and get x is less than my number. So I'm going to balance at this point here. So I'm going to minus 5x from this side, and obviously minus 5x from this side, and they will cancel. And my new line is 6x minus 5x, which is just 1x, or just x which is less than minus 3. So we've solved it down as far as we can. We now have a value. We know that x is less than minus 3, and x is an element of the ors. So as we spoke about earlier on in class, we spoke about drawing the number line and the important about what the ors are. So the ors, if we think about it, are real numbers. And what do real numbers stand for? Real numbers stand for for all numbers, okay? So your real number is every number. Okay, so you're including your decimals, you're including your fractions, all of that. So we know that x is less than minus three. 
So the first possible value that can satisfy that, I'm going to draw my number line here, and I have minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus two, minus one, zero, and one. And the first value that satisfies that, x is less than minus three, is going to be this value here, okay, which is extremely close to three, my, sorry, minus three, but not actually hits it. So we represent that as an empty circle. So saying it gets really, really close to minus three, but it doesn't hit minus three, but it includes every single number after that, okay, any number less than minus three. So I'm gonna draw a thick red line for this. And then to just show that it keeps going on, I'm going to draw an arrow to show that that number keeps going on. Any number after this will satisfy that equation. Okay, super important. What happens if we end up with a minus x? So what happens if we work it all down and we get something like minus x is less than or equal to four? Okay, if that's the case, normally what we would do is, well, we would say, well, that's minus one x, and how we would get rid of that is we would divide by minus one. And likewise, we would do the same on the other side. And essentially, that's what we continue to do. But if you divide by a minus number, the inequality flips. So, if it is uh, less than or equal to, which it is in this case, it now changes to a greater than or equal, it flips. And now we have, as we would, minus one x divided by minus one, just gives me one x or x. X is greater than or equal to four divided by minus one is minus four. So if you come across a situation where you have a minus x on this side and you have to divide by a minus to cancel it out, you must remember that you, or to balance it out, you must remember that you must flip the inequality. Okay, our final example today is asking us to solve the inequality and show my solution on a number line. Here we have four bracket x minus two is greater than five bracket x minus one. And here x is an element of z and z is an integer. And an integer is any positive or negative whole number. Okay, so I will begin again by working out my brackets and four bracket x is going to give me four x and four bracket minus two is going to give me minus eight is greater than five bracket x is going to give me five x and five bracket minus one a plus by a minus gives me a minus and five ones are five. Okay, again I'm gonna balance out and I'm gonna first of all get rid of this minus eight so to do that I need a plus eight on both sides and they will cancel, and I'm now left with 4x is greater than 5x, and 5 plus 8 is going to give me 13. Again, at this point, I want to try and solve for x, which means I need to get the 5x from this side. I'm gonna balance it out to get rid of it, so I need a minus 5x here, and also a minus 5x on this side, and they will cancel. And my new line is 4x minus 5x, which is going to give me minus 1x, or minus x, is greater than 13. And as we just learned, it's really important that if you've got a minus x, that you get rid of the minus x. How we do that is we divide by 1 on both sides, sorry, divide by minus 1 on both sides. But if I do that, the inequality flips. So if I divide this by minus 1, and also this one by minus one. I then flip the inequality and I am left with x is less than 13. And so we will mark that now on our number line. So I'll give myself a little bit more room. Okay, remember nice neat number lines. You guys will be much neater than me. And we're told x is less than 13. So if I start my number line here at 15, 16 here, we have 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, and x is less than 13. So the first number it can be is 12. So I mark, again, our n's and our z's we mark with dots, 
and our ors we mark with a thick red line and depend on whether it's less than or equal to, we look at the circle. Less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. And if it's just less than or equal to, we leave the circle blank. Okay, so again, I'm gonna show that it goes on that way. And so any integer, any whole number, negative or positive, that is less than 13 satisfies that inequality. Okay, so tonight's learning check is three sums. Take your time, draw nice clear number lines, and remember your definitions about what the real numbers is, the integers, and the natural numbers. And I'll see everybody tomorrow.